The COVID crisis, far from over, that indicative of the third wave now hitting the Bahamas, one health experts have long predicted would be far more dangerous. This then calls for ramped up efforts to rein in the virus, which according to Attorney General Senator the Honorable Carl Bethel, includes implementing some form of legal framework to restrict physical contact. Now, whether that includes an extension of the state of emergency in the form of the emergency powers orders that are set to expire on May 23rd has not yet been determined. The Attorney General contends, though, that the Bahamas will have to do whatever is necessary until it reaches the stage where it has a sufficient portion of the population vaccinated. When the Bahamas reaches the stage where we've reached what, what could be termed herd immunity, then we could consider that for the Bahamas, the emergency is basically over. So between now and then, there will be some legal framework, whether it's uh, a declaration of emergency or, or under a statutory framework. But in any event, rules will have to be mandated to restrict physical contact continuing until we reach the stage where there is a degree of herd immunity. So whether that's under an emergency power order or under a, a, a new enactment, it's not going to stop the, the need to make rules to restrict certain forms of activity. Meantime, the AG is counting on the Bahamas getting a share of those 60 million AstraZeneca vaccines the United States wants to share. He believes, though, the world is in an unfortunate position with skyrocketing COVID-19 cases in some countries. It is, it is an unfortunate situation that um, now confronts the world. Uh, we see that Europe remains basically in lockdown. We see that India is collapsing. Um, its health care system has basically collapsed. Um, that the whole world will have to come to the aid of that great country. And uh, we pray for, for the souls of all around the world who have perished and or who are in grave danger, including here in the Bahamas, from this third wave. We certainly um, are doing everything we can to maintain the, the uh, efficiency and effectiveness of the Bahamian health system, but it is under challenge, but not as bad as elsewhere in the world.